In our morning round, jumpstarting your mind, an experimental device for stimulating the brain is getting attention. It involves wires and low voltage batteries. The technique is linked to improvements in memory, mood, and motor skills. It's being treated, it is being tested as a treatment for depression and autism. Dr. Sari Lasanbi is director of the Brain Stimulation Division at Duke University School of Medicine. We're pleased to have her. She's also chairman of the Department of Psychiatry. Uh, tell us what the principle is at stake here. Uh, well, this is uh, TDCS, which stands for transcranial direct current stimulation, right. and the principle is we know that the brain operates on electricity. Uh, this is a brain stimulator which non-invasively uses weak electrical currents that literally come out of a battery that are modulated by this device, and you put it on the scalp, and it polarizes the brain, uh, making brain areas uh, uh, charged and more closer to the threshold where you can bring them online or use them to do things like um, memory function or modulating a mood, for example. Why do we need this type of electrical stimulation? Well, we do have effective treatments in the field of psychiatry, but there's some things we still can't treat, such as treatment-resistant depression or autism. We need help in helping people recover f function after stroke. And so we do need alternatives to medications and to psychotherapies. Using non-invasive brain stimulation, such as with devices like this, which are very safe, allows us to have new ways to modulate the brain. Now, is this related to electrical shock for certain kinds of brain questions that have come up before in medical treatment? Uh, well, this uses direct currents, which are different from other forms of brain stimulation. Uh, they, they polarize the brain. They don't stimulate the brain. So the safety profile is actually quite good. Mm -hmm. We were interested in this story because people are going on the Internet and they're creating these devices on their own and using them at home. Is that safe? Does it work? Well, that is a concern, obviously. We're using these devices in controlled clinical trials, such as a trial we're doing right now in the treatment of depression, where we're doing it under medical supervision. It matters where you put the electrodes on the head, of course. So doing it at home is a concern. But there are places you can go on the Internet that are advertising this type of technology to enhance normal function. But is, that, is it risky? Uh, there are risks, certainly, uh, and so I would be concerned about that. It, it but, certainly, yeah. Yeah, but, but have you done it? Uh, not personally. Now, wouldn't you want to experiment and see what it's like? Uh, well, we have done piloting with it, and yeah. what, what you feel is just a slight tingling on the head, then that goes away, and, and it's painless. Wow. Incredible. Fascinating. Yeah. Thank you. So nice to see you, doctor. Thank you.